Well, that's a fairly noise. For some reason the guide ropes keep shaking themselves loose and I actually think it's because I put some WD-40 on them uh, because I wanted to loose them off when I took the tower down so I wouldn't advise doing that because it seems like that's what's uh, making them come loose. <laughs> See how fast it's getting whipped around. I've had to put both dump loads on to try and calm it down a bit because it is really, really going for it at the moment. He's following the wind pretty well as well, you got to say, haven't you? So the bat you'll see the battery voltage start coming down fairly quickly if the wind drops. It's good to know the furling does work. Despite the very low angle, which is pretty different to what you'd see on that axial flux turbine, the furling does seem to work. not showing any signs of dropping at the moment. What it's actually doing, I believe, is when it's furling, right, it's so violent that it's just shaking everything loose. Uh, I can't really explain it. There's still a couple of uh, problems with the ground bits on the tower that I need to resolve. Remember I did the ones on the left and the right, super cushy, but the one at the back is no good really and it's causing this wobble. The tail also needs a better pin uh, or some kind of reinforcement because there's a, it will have a little bit of wobble there but I don't know if you can see the front guide right there. This is uh, Friday early evening by the way. You can hear the, the change in the sound when it's furling. It's still going through the air, but there's a lot, almost a lot more friction. Whoa, whoa, there you go. They probably won't believe me, that's actually very intense when you're only uh, eight meters away from it.
Whoa, look at that. Whoa. The wind's really howling outside. Service has been resumed. <laughs> 